All right, we're going to upgrade a, a nibble here to from one minor version to another from 6113 to 6123. So we're going to log in as the admin of the unit. And down the bottom here, you'll see a software update available. Or you can go to administration and software right here. Either way, we'll take you there. And it'll tell you the version you're on, which is, this is the current version. This is the version I was on prior to being on that version. And then we're going to go download. And we have this new version out there, 6123. So we're going to download this. Make sure it says GA when you go to download them. They have they also sometimes feed in things that aren't GA yet. And that's for production. So let's go download this. I'll probably speed up parts of this video um, so we don't have to sit through the whole thing in real time. All right, so now that we got the newest version downloaded, we can upgrade. But before we do that, we're going to do a pre-check. And let's just make sure everything's in order for us to be able to run this update. This usually doesn't take long at all. Info. Not much info there. say it won't take long and well it's taking long <laughs> all right here we go all right so the pre-check passed um, if it failed it would give you some reason here but we're good so we're going to close this out so we're able to run the update now if you want to read about the update you can do the click here and this will take you to info site which you'll have to have a login for um, I'm not going to do that right now. It just brings you to the release notes. So I am going to run the update. This also runs a pre-check for you why it does it, but I prefer to run it um, as a standalone in case there's any issues I can address before I actually try and run the update. And of course, they're going to give you a license. You have to scroll through and accept the agreement. Yes, I read everything. I'm a speed reader, so I'm going to agree. All right, there you go. It'll take a while to do it, and you'll probably have to clear your browser cache when it's done, or you might have some issues. Here it's going to tell you the steps that it's doing. Right now it just says updating. You can also open up the monitor, uh, the hardware, I mean. Open this up in a new tab. And here you can look at your controllers. Uh, so the way it works is Controller A right now is on standby and it's running off of controller B. That's where your active workload is running. So while this one's offline already as a standby, it's going to update this one first. Then it's going to fail over to A once this is updated. And this will be the working controller. And then it'll update B. And then the process will be done. And you can see that kind of happen here. 
But for the most part, uh, I usually just stay on the screen here and it'll tell me each step that it's on in the process. And again, I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to sit through it all in real time. I'm going to go back to uh, normal speed here and uh, show you the controller A is booting the new OS, OS version. And you can see controller A is updating. And it shows controller B is flying solo now, so it's not in a pair. So it's just working on its own. So once this comes back up online, it'll fail over. In the meantime, we can just keep watching this. All right, let me slow this down again. Now, uh, controller A looks like it's done. Controller B is, is getting worked on. It's All right, so I'm gonna reload the page. All right, so after the failover, uh, you can see controller A is flying solo now while controller B is updating. Telling you here it will happen and it already kind of is happening. So here you have a uh, update completed. Uh, current version is 611. That's no, not correct yet. Didn't update yet. Maybe I just have to refresh. So here we go. Hardware, rear panel. Uh, controller A is active and controller B is now on standby. Like I said earlier, um, so this one was upgraded first. It failed over from B to A. And now A is the active controller while B will be on standby. And then we go back here. Um, current version is 612. The previous version was 611. So there you go. That's the process. Um, I hope this helps. And happy updates. Yeah.